Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I have an opening of an artist head. This is a head only for an OB11 doll. So you've seen me open two other OB11 dolls on the channel and I ended up buying a head only and I bought this body on Amazon and the body was about $20. Now this body is a shade darker than the other bodies that I have and the, the bodies that these dolls typically come with. So I'm gonna see if it works. If it doesn't work, then fine, I'll go back and get another body. But um, I'm just gonna see if it works for this doll. Now this head is from an artist studio called H Minor Studios. And she does both full sets and she sells some heads only. And I decided to try head only since the other dolls I bought were full sets. So I can kind of see how the whole process of opening the doll goes. Okay, so inside the box you see I have some items there. It looks like a wig and the head and some sort of letter. So let's check this out first. Oh wow. So check that out. Wax seal H minor. That is her, her um, and this is really nice high quality paper. I love when nice things come with doll things. This is super gorgeous. Okay, I don't wanna even tear the wax seal. Let me see if I can, ah, yes. So I was able to open that up without tearing the wax seal. So just pulled that open here. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, these are photos of the head that I got. That is too cool. What a nice touch. So the artist has included the artist's photos of the head. That is really nice. That is a super cool touch. I like that. Okay, so with the head, I asked her how much the wig would be to come with the head, because normally if you're buying just the head, you're getting just the head, but some artists, like she did, will allow you to get um, the wig as well, and I really liked the wig that she had in the photos, and so I asked her if I could buy the wig as well, and here it is. Oh, and she included the little, bow with the wig. That is super cute. So there's the wig and then let's see. So these are some rubber bands and another um, bow and I've seen someone put a head on a body before and use the rubber bands around the neck joint here to kind of get the head to stay in place. So we're going to see if I can do this properly. All right so inside this box there is a there is like a ball keep smiling and then it says happiness we wish you the best I love these beautiful packagings that these dolls come in I think it is such a nice touch all right, so I'm opening this to reveal my head, and I opened it upside down, but there's the head. Wow, she's super sweet. Isn't that really sweet? So I had two little dolls that were smiling, and I wanted to get one doll that was had more of a neutral expression, and so she has a really neutral expression, I feel like, and let's see. so. The head goes like right on, so I'm gonna have to put some, um, I'm gonna set her head here. I should just set it back in there. That's the smart thing to do, right? So I'm gonna put some of these bands around the neck so we can get it to stay in place. I'm gonna grab a handful of them because it seems like it's super loose. And if it's too loose, I'll just grab some putty to put around because um, I have seen them also use putty to get the head in place. So I don't think that's gonna do it. Well, actually it helps. So let's hold that thought for just a minute because my body came with a different sort of neck joint. So I'm gonna grab it and see if it works. Okay, so I went and I got the pieces that came with the body and there's two other neck pieces and one of them is significantly wider 
than the others and I'm sorry it's probably gonna let me put it on the end of this so you guys can see it well I thought I would do that I'm gonna put this neck piece on instead of the one that's on there so I'm just gonna unscrew the one she's got or the one this body has and I'm gonna put the um, the wider neck joint on so that maybe it will hold that head in place better. So pop that wider neck joint on. Let's screw it back in. Okay. Alrighty. And so let's see if that works any better. too wide. Let's see. Okay, that one's just a little too wide, so I'm going to do the medium size one, which is here. So I'm going to take that one off and do the medium size. So I'm thinking the medium size is the right way to go if you're getting your own body and you want to change the neck piece. Almost lost the screw there. Um, yes, so I'm gonna go with the medium sized peg. And put it on and then I just pulled her hand off and my uh, excitement. So putting the new neck piece on, and let's give this one a go. And this is my first time having put one of these heads on, so yeah, this is the perfect size. So push it in a little bit more. Oh, that is so cute. Okay. Oh, it's a little wobbly. Let me kind of. I shouldn't have dressed her first, but I did. So it is what it is. All right. So here she is. And then I'm going to put her wig on, actually, before I present her to you guys. Oh, she's so cute. And I think the color of the body's not too bad. Um, I'm gonna, let's put our hand up to her face here. And you can see that's the color of the body. It's really not that bad. Um, she probably could do a shade lighter, but I don't think I need to go out and buy a different body. I think this body color is going to work with this head because this head is rather pinkish anyway. And this body has like a more pinkish undertone. So I think it works for her. Um, let me see if I can get her straightened up here. And then this outfit is by Doll Craftsman. This little dress is a lovely dress by Doll Craftsman, which I think is super duper cute. Okay. So there's my sweet little girl. And this is, like I said, the first one that I have bought a head only. I normally like to buy them as the full set, oops, the full set, but you can get them for a lot less expensively if you kind of put everything together yourself, like get the head and the body and the outfit on your own. So there she is, the little sweetie. Let me know what you guys think about her. Um, I've got three of these now and then I really, uh, I think I'm stopping there. They're really super cute and they, it's nice because you have like an artist handcrafted thing, but you still, um, it's for kind of like at a fraction of the cost of a lot of other artist items. And so it's cool to be able to say I have an artist doll that an artist created, but you don't have to, you know, break the bank or break, break the collecting budget for it. So I think she's super duper sweet. And um, if you want more information about these dolls, look for the group OB11 World on Facebook. That's how I found out about them. And there's a lot of great artists there that are making and selling dolls. So thank you very much for watching and we will see you next time.